Hello Puffins, I wonder how you are today. I've come to read you a story this afternoon and look who's come to join me. This is my cat and her name is Lulu and she was mewing at the door so I thought I'd better let her in and now she's just been all purring on my lap which is lovely. It's a bit miserable outside today isn't it because it's a bit rainy and cold so I can't sit in the garden and read to you like I did last time. So I've come indoors and I'm going to read you a story that we've been learning about this week called Jack and the Beanstalk. And it's been so nice to see your activities that you've been doing on tapestry and to keep in touch with you because we really miss seeing you at school. I know Mrs Maltley talked to you about Jack and the Beanstalk, didn't she? She gave you some clues as to what the story was about. She had some beans and that really, really, really long green beanstalk that she'd made out of a piece of green cardboard. I wonder if you could make one as long as Mrs Maltley's. So let's have a little listen to the story, shall we? I hope Lulu will sit down and won't get in the way. This is from my first book of fairy tales. Here we go, Jack and the Beanstalk. Many years ago, there lived a woman and her son called Jack. She gave him everything he asked for until one day there was nothing left. All they had of any value was their old cow. So the woman sent Jack to sell her. He hadn't got far when he met a man. Where are you going with that cow, he asked. To the market, said Jack. No need, said the man. I'll give you these beans for her. Jack was such a foolish boy that he agreed. One, two, three, four, five beans, the stranger counted out. And Jack ran home to tell his mother. But his mother was not pleased at all. What am I going to do with you, she said. And she threw Jack's beans out of the window. But the next morning, there was a marvellous beanstalk, as strong as an oak tree, growing right up to the sky. Without a thought, Jack climbed up it and found himself in another country. Now you know what's at the top of the beanstalk, don't you? He found a giant's castle and persuaded the giant's wife to feed him. But then he heard heavy footsteps and a loud voice saying, Fee, fi, fo, fum. Quick, hide in the oven, said the giant's wife. The giant looked around, but he didn't see Jack. Can you see Jack? There he is. So the giant sat down to eat his huge meal, and then he called for his pet hen. From his hiding place, Jack could see that the hen laid an egg of solid gold every time the giant asked her to. Soon the giant fell asleep and Jack rushed out and grabbed the hen. He escaped down the beanstalk before the giant woke up. Jack's mother was very pleased to see him and they lived well by selling the golden eggs. But the beanstalk was still there. And so one day, without telling his mother, Jack climbed the huge beanstalk again. Everything happened as before. The giant roared. Fee, fi, fo, fum. This time, Jack hid in a cupboard. Can you see him look behind the cup? And again, the giant could not find Jack. After dinner, the giant got out his money bags and counted his coins. But soon he was asleep and snoring. Quickly, Jack grabbed a bag and slid down the beanstalk. Three years later, Jack climbed the beanstalk again. This time, he hid in a wash tub when the giant roared, Fee, fi, fo, fum. The giant looked for Jack, but didn't find him. Then the giant asked his wife to fetch the golden harp, and soon he fell asleep. Jack crept out of the wash tub and grabbed the harp, but the harp cried out, Help, I'm being stolen! The giant woke up and chased Jack to the top of the beanstalk. But Jack was lighter than the giant and reached the bottom quickly. He flung down the harp and grabbed an axe to chop the beanstalk. It crashed down and that was the end of the giant. It was also the end of Jack's adventures. He lived happily with his mother along with the hen that laid eggs of solid gold and the harp that sang beautiful songs. And that's the end of the story. See you soon.